The groups chosen for this pilot program have been working in Detroit neighborhoods for years, some more than a decade. They have been using money out of their own pocket. The Shasaver program shows that the city is investing $10 million in these organizations as a show of support. For every shooting scene in the city of Detroit, there's a display of heartbreak and hopelessness surrounded by yellow tape. Individuals didn't start the day planning to shoot somebody, but they were having a gun on them illegally just in case. And a uh, flash of anger uh, turned into a tragedy uh, that changed lives for good. Months after declaring to reduce gun violence in his city, Mayor Mike Duggan followed. This is the mayor of Detroit. Okay, but look at everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say that, but look at the, look at the, look at the stretch behind him. Look all sunny. Yeah, he the only white person in his own fucking room except for her. God damn, man. Jesus Christ. <sighs> he said that one. One people didn't wake up in the morning um, wanting to kill people. I don't think he knows the sun that well. Yeah, he don't know. He don't know the sun. He don't know at all, man. Not at all. <sighs> Yellow tape. Individuals didn't start the day planning to shoot somebody, but they were having a gun on them illegally just in case. And a uh, flash of anger uh, turned into a tragedy uh, that changed lives for good. Months after declaring to reduce gun violence in his city, Mayor Mike Duggan followed through on one of his biggest plans to date. At a rec center on Detroit's west side, he announced the six nonprofits which will participate in the Shot Stopper initiative, including Detroit 300. When my mom was murdered, I told I told her when I was 17, I told her her casket that. You said you stood at your mom's casket after she was murdered. You made a promise to turn your neighborhood around, turn the city around. If she was here now, what would she say about this moment? Oh, man. Every day, I just look up and... And every time I get involved in something, even if it's just one senior, just tell me good job. I just feel as though, you know, it's, I'm talking to my mom. Take a look at this map, which shows where the groups will work. The other five organizations are Detroit People's Community, New Era Community Connection, Force Detroit, Wayne Metro, Denby Alliance and Camp Restore, and Detroit Friends and Family. Community member Joyce Tatum works with these groups. I'm so elated about this, and I'm so surprised. It's like, this is happening with our city? So, yes, I'm surprised and happy. What are the emotions behind that smile? Oh, just so I need help, and I got it. Here's how the Shot Suffer program breaks down. Each contracted group is responsible for improving the quality in their area, known as the CVI zone. The groups will receive $175,000 each. And then there's the incentives. If a group is 10% more successful reducing violence than the city over the course of a quarter, they're receiving 87,500. That's crazy. That's no money, no money, no money. For, for nothing, they just pouring, dumping all this money. Like, this is, it's like, God damn. This shit. And when they asked him how would his mother feel, he should have said disappointed. Like, Detroit? Like, yeah. what? Thank you, man. What the fuck, man? But like, look at this, man. They can forget about these incentives because they ain't bringing crap. I'm about to say that. <laughs> but, but the base, this right here, they go. They're 175,000. They gonna they gonna eat good off of that, man. Yeah, but that 87 ain't going. That 87. Nah, ain't going. they ain't getting that, man. <laughs> they care for Christmas. It's gonna get worse because they these programs don't work, man. These programs these programs are are literally fucking complete and abject failures like 100 percent failures they don't fucking work at all we have them all through our neighborhoods i've never seen and i, I went through them when i was a kid i never seen not one of them just that work that that did anything and i don't know it's crazy salute to everybody watching on op nation gold man salute to everybody watching on op nation news Salute to everybody watching on Rumble. $500 bonus or a $175,000 bonus for a 20% improvement. It's funded by President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act. Only three were supposed to be chosen, but since six proposals were so strong, they added more groups. Detroit City Council President Mary Sheffield, who dedicated her time in office to fighting gun violence, says the plan is to provide resources for mental health, skills training and conflict resolution none of this shit work none of that shit works none of it zero percent 
That, those are three things that have nothing to do with gun violence. The dudes shooting the guns are not fucking crazy. Them niggas are the same perfect. <laughs> <laughs> They plotting and planning and sneaking up on people and talking about shit. and shit. Them niggas is insane, insane, man. Real shit. God, dog. They all gonna do the same shit tomorrow. In violence, uh, what they call the um, conflict resolution, man. Come on, man. Conflict resolution. <laughs> you want to teach? You want to teach conflict? You got to teach every single person in the city conflict resolution. You can't just teach them that shit. And then they, I say, conf, they don't have no conflict. Real resolution. shit. Real shit. Real shit. Like, shit, man. And then conflict resolution don't even work because it's like it go against son nature, man. These are white, unless you have a black person come up with some conflict resolution like theories and shit, like conflict resolution for sons. Cause that that shit is based on white people. Those yeah. those principles, step one, take a deep breath. <laughs> and count to 20 before you say man, that shit don't do that. That shit don't work on a son at all. Man. At all. <laughs> look your look, look the person you're mad in the eye and tell them. Brother, I want to be a quiet. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Gonna smack. They gonna be all oh, this nigga sweet. These niggas soft. He soft ass nigga. Oh, Rob your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get done dirty. He nigga gonna do you dirty now if you try. You try comic with the nigga. Oh, these niggas some bitches. They about to fucking. I got to press these niggas every time I see them. Real shit. Real shit. Ain't bullshit. <laughs> They just like, man, you can't, man. They they gotta they they just don't get it, man. They don't get it, man. And um, hold on. Um on Rumble, my man Tex 47 says, Ah, just think how hard up Detroit had to be for bus drivers to give someone with vehicular homicide a chance. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, they the candidates, man. They could, she was one of the strongest candidates, which tells you a lot, man. I'm in office to fighting gun violence. Says the plan is to provide resources for mental health, skills training, and conflict resolution. We're not allowing government to do this now. We're leaning on organizations now who are embedded in the community, who are going to build relationships, reach out. They have what we call street credibility, right? They know. Oh, God. Them niggas ain't got no street credibility. Them niggas can't stop no fucking crimes. And especially, no especially the young sons, too. Nowadays, you ain't stopping them dudes, man, at all. Hey, they going to end up like the Baltimore Safe Street. They going to end up getting themselves <laughs> killed, man. <laughs> them niggas in Safe Street, they got, they, man, that three of them got killed in one year, man. Know these areas, the unique needs of these zip codes. The Shot Supper program will begin on July 1st. The city leaders will evaluate progress on August 1st. On Detroit's 